Remove the tire, 19 millimeter socket. So the first thing you want to do is take the caliper bracket and caliper off. So I'm just going to undo the caliper bracket bolts to the knuckle. And that's a 14 millimeter socket. There's two of them. You have one down here and then one right up in there. And they are two access holes through the actual knuckle to get to them. Like I said, it's a 14 millimeter socket. We want to do the top one first. So before I take the rotor off, I'm just going to give it a little spray to help the situation. I'm going to just tap it with a hammer. Make sure you hit the hat and not the rotor. So now I'm just going to spray the actual axle nut. That has to come off next. And that is a 32 millimeter socket. You do not have to remove the parking brake shoes, but you can see the actual four mounting bolts in there. I'm just going to give them a little spray, see if I can help along the situation. So the wheel bearing mounting bolts, there's four of them. One, two, and then three, four up there. 14 millimeter socket, you might need a swivel socket to get those front. So now that we have everything unbolted, the hub is ready to come out, axle nut is off, make sure that moves freely in and out, then you're just going to take a hammer and you're going to start hitting this hub area, hopefully it will break free. Whoa, there you have it, final tap. Now we can try to break this actually off, and that's what holds it up, is it gets stuck in that backing plate. So we're going to spray that and just give the uh, bearing a little tap. You end up watching your toes because hopefully this bearing will pop right out. Okay, I'll just let that aside. We're going to clean this area up. And I am going to spray this with copper never see so that next time it might even go smoother. So once I've cleaned it, make sure there's no more debris in there. So I'm just going to spray the area so that hopefully rust doesn't develop again. And I'm going to just cover the ABS sensor because that's where it's going to pick up the magnetic pulse from the back of the bearing. I'm just going to cover it with my thumb. You can always wipe it if it does get copper spray on it. So as you can see, there's a, it's offset the way it is seated. So the offset is down on the bottom. So you want the elongated part on the top and the short one on the bottom. This is the magnet for the ABS. Make sure it doesn't get damaged. And then you're going to place that in. Once you put the Backing plate up. Sit that right in there. Slide it on the axle. So I'm going to take the bolts and start it from the other side. So I cleaned up all the mounting bolts, the threads, just did a little wire brush on them. You can add a dab of thread locker on there, just a dab of it, but they're going to get torqued to the proper specs. So. I'm going to run this bolt right through so I can hold onto the bearing at the same time. So now I'm going to hold this knuckle and this bearing, and I can start this bolt by hand. Now I'm going to hand start the other three. So you want to start each bolt by hand so you have the freedom to wiggle the actual hub around. Make sure the threads start and not get cross-threaded. So I'm just going to start the axle nut. That way it keeps it centered. 
And now I've got all four bolts started. I'm going to snug them down by hand, and then I'm torquing them to spec. So now we're going to torque our four mounting bolts, and that's a 14 millimeter socket, and the torque is 47.9. And I'm going to do it in a crisscross pattern so that we don't cause the hub to seat at an angle. Now I can put the rotor on, and I'm going to get the caliper mounted, torque that bracket down, and then I will torque this castle nut. Now we're getting ready to mount the caliper in the bracket. It's all one assembly. Get my caliper holder out of the way. Line the pads up with the rotor. Slide that on. Now I'm going to lift it up and put the bolts on from behind. I'm going to start the top caliper bolt right in that little window. And this is where you can slide the caliper around, center that bolt. Make sure you start it. So I'm going to torque the caliper bracket to knuckle bolts. That's two of them, 39 foot-pounds. So now I'm going to remount my tire and rim. I'm not torquing this yet because I can use the actual tire against the ground to stop this from spinning, and I can get the torque out of that. So now I'm going to snug my axle nut, and then I'll torque them both on the ground. So now I have the parking brake on, and I have the wheel on, loosely mounted, just snugged in the weight of the vehicle. So I can torque the center hub nut. This is the axle, rear axle nut, 177 foot-pounds. So now I'm going to take my wheel back off, because I just snugged it because I have to bean over that little castle nut. I like to put the tire on to tighten it because it's just so much safer than a long pry bar digging into the cement or even dirt. So as you can see, this axle nut has been used several times, but the threads on it were good, so we're going to reuse it. And it's just peened over here, I'm going to do a little bit of a cold chisel and tap it down in. So now I'm going to finalize the actual tire. Okay, wheel torque is 88.5 foot-pounds the wheel.